Yep, thought it was a rooster. I think it came with the house. On uh, my way to Mayo for two days, and so packing up some chicken breasts and some natural food to keep the sodium levels down in my heart. Things are going well. Hey, hey, good morning. It's Thursday, January 25th, 2007, 2018. I'm finally there, baby, finally there. 2018, I'm on my way to Scottsdale. Arizona to go to Mayo Clinic for treatment number 35. It's about 9.15 a.m. And it's really weird, man. I'm, <clears throat> I don't know why. I feel I feel really good right now. I, and not necessarily physically. I just feel this uh, light, optimistic feeling that I haven't had in a long time. And I'm not sure why I got it. But I but I like it. So, really, hold on. We got, we got Doug Grady calling me. So anyway, like I was saying, I, I feel really good emotionally. So I feel light, I feel uh, optimistic, I feel energetic, and, and that's that's incredible. So um, I'll take that any day. So every week people connect with me on via my Facebook, not my Facebook, via Facebook as well, but also uh, YouTube where they come across my amyloidosis channel. And I just had a guy send me this long email and um, I read it. I typically read them all. <clears throat> I just went through this phase where people were sending me some bad vibes and I didn't want to read them, meaning that they were talking about situations that came up in their life or someone that they loved. Anyway, this guy <clears throat> told me that his wife got diagnosed with amyloidosis uh, about the same time that I did. It was March of 2017 she got diagnosed and I was diagnosed in April of 17. Anyway, um, today she, she's no longer with us so he talked about what transpired and she passed away it was just that quick so uh, things can turn very quickly he said she was on the cyborg D which was the original treatment that I was on I believe he said that and her uh, light chain amyloids went down like 40% reading so she was coming out of the gate showing uh, lots of promise they were excited and then stuff goes sideways so that's why the, the emotional side is so fragile, you know, like I feel good today. I just did a, a talk yesterday for the city of Las Vegas, a keynote talk, and that's what I told him. I was like, you know what, I feel, what does this all mean? It, says I, it means I feel good today. That's all it means. It means nothing, except that right now I feel great and I'm here doing this keynote talk because tomorrow anything can happen. I was telling him I have these, these recent uh, really sharp pains in my chest right here. I guess it could be your heart area, but it's in your chest, uh, and they're and they're new. So you know, I don't know what to think about that. So you know, is it something else is getting ready to bubble up that's gonna take me off the off the off the cliff real quick, or is it the um, synthetic antibodies that are killing the amyloids off of my heart that are causing my heart to spasm or something? I don't even know if it is my heart, but those are the kind of things that happen every day that just cause you to think about what's really going on. It keeps you conscious, you know, because I'm a very positive and I'm very optimistic and I'm forward thinking and the feelings that you have every day, emotional swings or physical pain keeps you right in the present moment all the time. So even though I may seem overly positive, I'm, I'm living right in it today. So that's why the feeling of lightness and the feeling of optimism is rare. It's rare. I mean, I always feel good and I'm, I'm always positive, but this feeling of lightness and optimism is, is new for me. See you. All right, so I'm here, North Phoenix Mayo Clinic, treatment number 35. Ah, all right, I'm ready to roll here. And so my cousin Gigi's here. She just graduated from nursing school, so uh, she's been wanting to come out. I'm excited to see her. So, all right. Let's do it. All right, finally in the chair, treatment number 35. We are doing it. My beautiful cousin is here today, Gigi. Hi. Yeah, so uh, she's married to my cousin Tom, and they've got a beautiful daughter named Emily, and she's uh, just finished the nursing program, right? That's right, yeah. yes. So she's here seeing what's going on. All right, so. this would be my dream job. So if anybody <laughs> works at Mayo out there, that's hit right. me up. That's <laughs> right, that's right. So anyway, it's a blessing that she's here today. And I've got another friend here, one of my players that played for me back in Eastern New Mexico. He's coming up now. So it's a big day up in the oncology room. <laughs> you bet. Yeah, so glad to be here. So glad to spend time with you. This was just, just such a great 
bonding time. So Thank I appreciate you. you calling me and letting yeah. me know you're going to be here. Thank you. So Anytime. Yeah. Anytime. All right. Bye. 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 So it should be done here in a few minutes and I'll be heading to a hotel and then back tomorrow morning at 7.45 for day two of treatment number 35. Day one of treatment number 35, and I had a special guest today, Mr. Ed Newell. Uh, Ed is a former second round draft choice out of Eastern New Mexico. That's right. That's right. Home of the, uh, who are they, the Greyhounds? Greyhounds. That's right. Yeah. I actually was a graduate assistant uh, when Ed was playing in Eastern New Mexico uh, under Larry Riley. So Ed is a very successful sales rep out here for Pfizer, and he lives in this area, and he came to visit me today. So Ed, thanks so much. Oh, it's great to see you. That's bringing the positive vibes. I'm feeling better already. No, oh, it's, it's just it's so good to be around you. Oh, man. You know, your positive juice and just how you around everybody. I mean, you make the whole place light up <laughs> because everybody wants to, to talk to you. And as soon as I got here, they said, Dan Lero, he's such a nice guy. So, <laughs> so I mean, they, they es you know, escorted me right back to see you. But uh, no, it's just good to see you. Good to see you know, look in your eyes and see how yeah. good you're doing. Thanks. You know, I've been Thanks. following you on on Facebook and thank YouTube you. and it's just good, to, good yeah. to see you live. Yeah, thanks. And you're doing well. Yeah, I appreciate that. Yeah. Feeling good. So yeah. thanks for thanks for coming. No, it's my pleasure. Yeah. So Ed and I must what is that? How many how many years have we been? Yeah, so back 20? in the eighties, so eighty six, eighty seven, I believe was the year or eighty six. So was that like twenty years? Yeah. Yeah. yeah math wasn't over thirty. Thirty? Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. So yeah, it's been a while, but we stayed in touch over the yeah. time. And, I get to see every once in a while in Vegas at uh, NBA Summer League. Yep. We used to do that a little bit. So. Yep. Ed would come up to the Summer League in Vegas. We'd hook up. He'd bring his son. Got to know his son that way. And so we got a, uh, a rich history. So it's so nice to, as you get older, the relationships uh, are val more valuable, especially in my situation. So uh, really thanks. Thanks for coming out, Ed. My brother. <laughs> so, all right, man. We're out of here. And uh, thanks for your thoughts and prayers. Keep praying. <laughs> All right, what's up? Walking in. Friday the 26th, it's the second day of my treatment number 35. So, man, I'm feeling good today. I actually took a shower this morning. <laughs> Look out! Look out! It's my mom's birthday today, so I gotta give her a call. That's ex I'm excited about that. I hope I make it to 77. So my dad turned 80 in... Um, my dad turned 80 in December, my mom turned 77 in uh, January. Big birthday time in my family. So anyway, I'm feeling good, staying focused, staying strong. Good to see uh, Ed last night and Gigi and today's another day. I'm in here early, 7.45 a.m. It's chilly and I'll be heading back to Vegas. And Jennifer and I are actually shooting a, shooting our, our, our new TV show tonight. So that's why I showered today. <laughs> Uh, I'll tell you more about that later. So, I am hooked up, baby. I am hooked up and ready to go. And I've got the uh, got the honeymoon room today, so I got a great view. Let me show you. Well, you might not think it's such a great view, but I think it's a great view. You can see the open land, uh, mountains. Anyway, treatment number thirty-five. This is the second day of the conclusion. I'm driving back to Vegas. I feel great, man. Feel good. I'm optimistic. Uh, it's feeling good. Energy's high. That's what I'm doing. So thank you for coming on the journey. Thank you for your love and, and uh, your connection, your support, your prayers. I really appreciate that. And, uh, thank you, Ed, for coming over yesterday, and Gigi, appreciate that. And, uh, I'm just very blessed right now. I've got an incredible support system and great family, and uh, thank God I have a good mindset. So we're rocking and rolling. Thank you so much again, and I'll be heading back to Vegas today. Oh, yeah, just finishing up treatment number 35. It's a Friday the 28th. 26, excuse me. I just love walking out. I love walking out when it's complete. The sun is shining. 
I feel fresh. You can probably see I'm glowing a little bit, which I take as a positive thing. I mean, how many people do you see glowing, right? So all is good. Thanks again for all your thoughts and prayers. And as soon as I find my car, I'll be in better shape than I am now.